In this tutorial we're going to look at construction planes. So there's a lot you can do with construction planes, but um, they're primarily used if you want to build one object or a series of objects off of another object that is not aligned with your standard construction planes. So here I already have this object has some angled surfaces and some um, surfaces that I might want to build on. So if we go to our C planes tab here, there's quite a few options for realigning the C plane. Some of the ones that I find most useful are, for example, this set plane by three points. For this one, you can just select that and then select the three points that are within the plane that you want to set the construction plane. You can see I now have aligned it to that face. So if I create a curve, for example, uh, and I start drawing, it's going to align that curve with that new construction plane. Um, another thing you can do over here is you can set the C plane to an object. So I can select that one and select, let's say, this face. And you can see it will create a construction plane off that face. So if I do another curve here, it's now going to align that curve with that new construction plane. Um, this is really a useful way of just working within a perspective view, but sometimes you might want to uh, put the origin back to its original state. So you can always select this one here, which is set C plane to world top, and that will realign that grid with the original XYZ axes. Um, and there's other ones you can do, you can play around with, like you can undo your moves. You can also set uh, C plane by Z axis. So if I select this and I want for example, this edge to be my my Z. I can select uh, one point on that edge and another point on that edge, and it will create the C plane with that as the Z axis. So again, a lot you can do uh, with the C plane options.